Welcome back. Right now, we are speaking with the Wileman School of Discovery. Steve Williams, executive director there, is with us virtually. <laughs> Steve, so great having you on our show once again. Oh, my pleasure. Good morning. How are you doing? We are doing well. How are things at Wileman this year? Uh, well, things are great. They're, every day is uh, every day's new, uh, new, new surprises, new challenges. But um, we, uh, as we, you and I talked back in July, I think it was, uh, we had a plan in place to uh, provide a hybrid uh, learning uh, model for our kids. And so we've had our first term. We just ended our first term on Thursday last week, and uh, we had kids in the building for the term had a few cases over the weekend we've had um, we've seen an increase at our school in, in cases uh, that mirrors what's happening around the state and we actually made a decision over the weekend to shift for a couple of weeks to fully online learning for our kids um, so we uh, started that actually today um, is our first day of fully online learning we have a few kids here in the building uh, that uh, um, needed uh, a place to be uh, during the day, so they're learning from the building. But we've shifted all of our classes to online. We're ready for that. Our plan anticipated this. We felt lucky that we were able to stay uh, in the building for as long as we did, um, uh, three months. And we just, uh, as we look at the cases increasing around the area, around the state, and uh, wanting to do the thing that will be uh, best for our students and our, our teachers, we decided to go online for a couple of weeks through the Thanksgiving holiday. And as you look back to the time before this, when you had that hybrid model that you mentioned, how did that go? How was that for teachers and students to be doing both online and in person? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, definitely, definitely a challenge. Um, we, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad uh, that we were able to provide um, um, a, a situation where students could come into the building and, and be with their friends and teachers. We felt like that was important. Um, definitely a big challenge for our teachers um, in many cases, in all cases, having to um, manage a multitude of, of sort of technologies and um, uh, just requirements. Having students that both in your classroom and online at the same time is, is, is difficult. And our teachers stepped up and did a fantastic job. And we made a few adjustments, especially in the lower grades where being online with a large group of kids is just really hard. Uh, they don't know how to how to be on a Zoom call, for example, or a Google Meet, um, as well as the older kids do. So we made a few adjustments there, um, but um, overall, I'd say it went well. But it was it was exhausting work for our teachers and continues to be. I think our teachers and and our nurses, I'll add, um, are taking the brunt of this um, this pandemic and the consequences um, uh, as it plays out in the schools, and and they're definitely feeling that and. Uh, working hard, but just doing it under uh, exhausting conditions. And you mentioned this difficult decision to go to online until after Thanksgiving. And the reason behind that, because of a surge of cases here in Utah and in Summit County as well. But it sounds like because you are smaller, you're able to individualize these plans with different families. And if a child really needs a place to go, they can come. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah, we reached out to our parents and, and uh, said that we were willing and able to offer help if they were not able to find um, you know, daycare uh, for their children, especially the younger children. We've also got several of our faculty in the building and, and their kids um, have access to that, um, that uh, daycare as well. Um, we've got teachers in the building who are helping provide some fun uh, like PE activities and music activities for them during the day, as well as their regular classes that they are tuned into online. Um, uh, as a small group. So we felt like we needed to offer that given um, uh, just, you know, the needs that parents have, their kids in school. And, and to make a change like this, we always know there's a large number of dominoes that fall that, um, that we try to anticipate and, and then pro provide solutions for where we can. So, um, yeah. And that flexibility is very much appreciated, I'm sure. I'm curious, Wileman is a little bit of a different model than a traditional school district. Do you think that the model that you've had set up for many years at Wileman really lends itself to dealing with years like this one where things are changing constantly? Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, we have, um, we have a, a, a close-knit faculty um, that collaborates and plans together. Uh, we have an administrative team that teaches uh, every day. I have a class of sixth graders waiting for me in just a few minutes that I'll be joining. 
Um, all of our administrators have those responsibilities. And we also are just a, um, we're a very practical and, and I would say, um, uh, I, I think we're creative. I think a lot of creativity comes from putting yourself and others in situations where they have decisions to make and you give them the freedom to make those decisions. And so we have done that always. That's part of our culture. And um, I, I will never claim that we always uh, know exactly the best thing to do, but we try something. And if that doesn't work, we try something else. And um, I think it's especially difficult under these conditions because there's so many sort of new things coming at us. And um, so we, we talk a lot. Uh, we have committees that we, uh, we, we talk with, and we vet ideas with, and, and then we make our decisions and move forward and, and make adjustments as we go. And as you look forward to the time after Thanksgiving when the kids will hopefully be back with this hybrid model, what are some goals that you're hoping to achieve as you look towards the rest of the school year and as you continue your safety precautions that you've put in place and continue this distance learning as well as in-person learning? I think our goal is always to, to provide a great place for our students and to keep track of them, whether they're in the building or whether they're learning from home. And that's been, I think, a high concern for us as we look at this model and, and some of our students who are learning from home. Uh, it, it's a challenge um, for a number of reasons, either because they themselves are at an age where it's just hard for them to focus and manage themselves, um, uh, varying levels of, of support and just having an adult with them. And we understand that's the reality of life. And so we are, I think our goal is to make sure that we um, are aware of all of our students, that we're following up with them, that we're providing the support and help that they need, whether they're with us in the building or whether they're working online or doing a combination of both. Um, I think keeping our students engaged and learning and, and progressing is, is our highest goal. Well, Steve Williams, Executive Director at Wileman School of Discovery, thank you so much for joining us today. It's always impressive to hear how schools, how educators are making things work during this pandemic while also keeping students as their number one priority. So if you want to hear more about Wileman School of Discovery, head to WS. Let me get it right, wsdpc.org for more information. All right, we'll take a quick break and be back right after this.